in this lesson we will study about linked list data structure so what is a linked list data structure it's a data structure to help hold a collection of data just like arrays so you hold not just one data but a group of that and again uh, the data type should be uh, of all the data should be same then it's composed of a linked nodes a link of nodes that's why it's called linked list so we have different nodes and they are linked together so this is one of the nodes so this is a single node it has one data and one next pointer so we will look into more detail about nodes in the next slide now let's see all these nodes except the last one points to the next node last node points to nothing because that is the last node there is no next node so it will have if it has five nodes then uh, first will point to the second second will point to the third third to the fourth fourth to the fifth and fifth is not pointing to anything so in this case this is the first node so it just stores some data so here i am showing one integer but it can be a complex data like let's say we are we have defined a class for student and a student has different attributes like he will have a name and the name itself will be of some string type then the student can have age the class the subjects he is studying and so on so that data type can be some class so this is the first part component of that node which is data component and the other one is what is the pointer of next node so these are non contiguous so in arrays we had seen that they were contiguous so if you know the address of first uh, data you can uh, calculate what is the address of third data by just adding the size of each data and multiplying that by the index but here that is not the case this first one may be at let's say address 100 second one may be at address uh, let's say 500 and third one may be at somewhere else there is no fixed pattern so uh, the first node is holding the address of the next node and nothing else so uh, similarly second is holding address of the third and let's say third is the last node so there is no next node so it terminates here so we store null here and the way to traverse is to start from beginning and keep going next you cannot directly jump from first to third or first to fourth any or any other node now let's see node in some detail so the node has a data and a pointer to the next node in the linked list which we have already seen so if this uh, dotted line this denotes the next node that we are talking about then it will be pointing to that one so i'm just repeating myself and uh, if we have to write it in code whether you are writing in c++ java python or any other language you will have some way of defining a structure we can call it node and this node will have two things this data type i have not written anything it can be an integer it can be a string it can be a custom data type like student or even student pointer in c++ uh and uh, the second component is node pointer so this node this name should be same as this one whatever is the name of your structure and we call it generally next you can give it any different name also so this is the way you will define it and uh, don't worry we will see examples of uh, how to define a linked list how to iterate through uh, the nodes of a linked list in uh, different languages c++ java and python so it will be more clear then we have linked list representation now you know what is a linked list node you are ready to create a linked list which will be multiples of those nodes linked together so linked list uh, for beginners it's often confusing they think that uh, when they are given a linked list and you are asked to write a code related to some problem of linked list you think th about the complete list and uh, but in fact you should keep in mind that when you are representing a linked list you are just given the head node pointer to the head node so what is head head is also a node which is the first node in the linked list so uh, and uh, if the node uh, structure or the node type is denoted by node n o d e then this head is nothing but node star if you are using c++ that is node pointer 
or if you are using java it will be the, some node so you will be given just a node and that is the linked list because given that node you can go to the second node third node so on until you reach the end so you have access to the complete linked list and the last node is called tail although we will not have too much use of this terminology but head is useful since this is denoting the linked list itself so if this is your linked list and it has three integer data types 1 2 and 3 and these are the next pointers then this one is the head and you will be given just pointer to the first node you will and if you want to go to the third node you ha you have no other way but to just go one by one there is no shortcut like arrays you can directly access the index in arrays but here you cannot do that but uh, this uh, uh, also has some advantages so this is definitely one disadvantage that you can guess that I cannot directly access let's say 10th element I have to start from beginning and go one by one in array you can directly access 10th element in constant time just you add that uh, index multiplied by size of each data type and you get the address of 10th data type but here that is not the case but there are many advantages also that's why we use linked list in practice uh, so we will look at advantages and disadvantages of linked list in the next video and later we will also see how to uh, represent linked list using different languages like C++, Java and Python.